Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the center of our gathering. You may have noticed the table set before you. It is filled with symbolism. I will explain. This table is set for our prisoners of war and those missing in action from all wars. They are not with us today. Their chairs are empty, but saved for their hoped return. Let us remember their absence. Let us remember the United States Air Force, honored by Cadet Griffith. Let us remember the United States Army, honored by Cadet Massey. Let us remember the United States Marine Corps, honored by Cadet McCown. Let us remember the United States Navy, honored by Cadet Blackman. Let us remember the United States Coast Guard. Let us remember the men and women prisoners of war from all branches of service that are too often forgotten. Let us remember them. The tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms so that their children could remain free Remember, the lone candle symbolizes the fatality of a prisoner alone, trying to stand up against his oppressors. Remember, the black ribbon on the candle reminds us of those who will not be coming home. Remember, the single rose reminds us of the loved ones and families of our comrades and arms who keep the faith and await their return. Remember. A slice of lemon is on the bread plate to remind us of their bitter fate. If we do not bring them home, remember. There is salt on the plate, symbolic of the family's tears as they await and re remember. The glasses are inverted. They cannot toast with us tonight. Maybe tomorrow, if we remember. The red, white, and blue ribbon is tied to the flower vase by a yellow ribbon that was worn by thousands who awaited their return. Remember, the faded picture on the table is a reminder that they are missed very much and are remembered by their families. Remember, as we look upon this empty table, do not remember ghosts from the past. Remember our comrades. Remember those whom we depend on in battle. They depend on us to bring them home. Remember our friends. They are the ones we love, who love life and freedom as we do. They will remember what we do. Please honor and remember them. For more than 200 years, the American flag has been the symbol of our nation's unity as well as a source of pride and inspiration for millions of citizens. 
Born on June 14, 1777, the Second Continental Congress determined that the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, alternating between seven red and six white, and that the Union be 13 stars, white and a blue field, representing a new constellation. Between 1777 and 1960, the shape and design of the flag evolved into the flag presented before you today. The 13 horizontal stripes represent the original 13 colonies, while the stars represent the 50 states of the Union. The colors of the flag are symbolic as well. Red symbolizes hardness and valor, white signifies purity and innocence, and blue represents vigilance, perseverance, and justice. Traditionally a symbol of liberty, the American flag has carried the message of freedom and inspired Americans both at home and abroad. In 1814, Francis Scott Key was so moved at seeing the stars and stripes waving before the British shelling of Baltimore's Fort McHenry that he wrote the words to the Star Spangled Banner. In 1892, the flag inspired Francis Bellamy to write the Pledge of Allegiance, our most famous flag salute and patriotic oath. In July 1969, the American flag was flown in space when Neil Armstrong planted it on the surface of the moon. Today, our flag flies on constellations of Air Force satellites that circle around our globe and on the fin flash of our aircraft in harm's way in every corner of the world. Indeed, it flies in the heart of every airman who serves our great nation. The sun never sets on our U U.S. Air Force nor on the flag we so proudly cherish. Since 1776, no generations of Americans have been spared the responsibility of defending our freedom. Today's airmen remain committed to persevering the freedom that others won for us for generations to come. By displaying the flag and giving it a distinctive fold, we show respect to the flag and express our gratitude to those individuals who fought and continue to fight for our freedom at home and abroad. Since the dawn of the 20th century, airmen have proudly flown the flag in every major conflict on lands and skies around the world. It is their responsibility, our responsibility, to continue to protect and persevere the rights, privileges, and freedoms that we as Americans enjoy today. The United States flag represents who we are. It stands for the freedom we all share and the pride and patriotism we feel for our country. We cherish its legacy as a beacon of hope to one and all. Long may it wave.